Right now at five, a new proposal position could change the future of City of La Crosse leadership. And a local food pantry is searching for the person who vandalized their storefront. We're watching WKBT La Crosse. This is News 8 Now at 5. Good evening, everyone, and thanks for joining us for News 8 Now at 5. I'm Ken Kozarowski. And I'm Emily Brown. The future of La Crosse City leadership could look different in the coming weeks. News 8 Now's Michael Germain joins us live in the newsroom with a look at a new position the city is considering adding to City Hall. Ken and Emily, the city of La Crosse is looking to create a new city administrator position. A city administrator is an individual who is responsible with the day-to-day -day operations of government. Now, for example, when a municipality switches to an administrator, all the city department heads and staff report directly to the administrator. So one way of looking at it is consolidating the operation side under the city administrator and having the political side uh, so that connection between the council and the mayor and the values of the residents, um, having that be consolidated on the political side. Now, Ford mentions that the administrator and mayor will collaborate closely, particularly in areas like implementation, for instance. If the council passes an ordinance, it's the city's administrator who will be responsible for overseeing its execution by the staff. Now, some other duties include developing and presenting a budget to the La Crosse Common Council, coordinating daily operations both for the city government itself and the city's department, as well as making sure all departments are implementing policies set forth by the Common Council. Ken and Emily, back to you. All right, Michael Germain in the newsroom. The Judiciary and Administration Committee is expected to vote on this measure Tuesday, October 1st. Wafer Food Pantry is asking for the public's help identifying the person who vandalized their storefront. Sometime overnight on Monday, the culprit broke this large window. They have filed a police report but are willing to settle things if the perpetrator comes forward and pays for the repairs themselves. The pantry, which is struggling to stay open, is now repairing the window with money that could be spent helping those in need. Broken windows cost money to repair. And when we spend money on things like repairing a window that was broken because of vandalism, that is money that comes directly out of what we would normally use to serve the people who need food. Now, if you have any information on this incident, contact La Crosse Police at the number on your screen. Yeah, our temperatures climb back up into the mid to upper 70s, so we're feeling some of that warmth coming back, and it's going to get any warmer as we go throughout Thursday. And this warm stretch is going to continue through the weekend and into early next week. Right now, there's your temperatures, upper 70s, even close to 80s as you go further north and west. Just a few cloud cover, a little bit less than we had yesterday. We still had that morning fog, and that'll be a recurring theme, too. Big picture shows all the activity as well to the southeast with those lows and pressure. Otherwise, it's high pressure in control, and that's pretty much overall. It's going to be the set for the next several days. There's your temperatures for this evening, a little bit more milder than yesterday evening, but overall very pleasant conditions. Clearing skies, whatever cloud cover is out there will dissipate after sunset. 61 as we get back down to 10 p.m. A couple degrees warmer too, but still pleasant conditions. Now overnight, once again, the far, uh, river fog and the fog issues that were foreseen that during the fall time frame, we're going to see another round of that with temperatures in the upper 40s to low 50s. And big picture as we go out, it's really going to be more summer-like as we go throughout the next several days and that means a lot of 80s and we'll break all that down a bit later in the yeah. broadcast. Yeah, it sure is feeling like it, it so It really far. is, yeah. A summer-like Oktoberfest. Yeah. Thank you, Greg. A new program is helping those who recently moved to the La Crosse area make some connections. News 8 Now's Allison Fergett spoke to the women behind the project earlier today. Allison. Ken and Emily, La Crosse Links is a five-session program that helps participants learn more about what the La Crosse area has to offer. Not only will new residents get to know La Crosse, but leaders say it will benefit local businesses as well. It can take some time to learn the ropes when you relocate to a new area. After moving here and my partner growing up here, I very much was like, La Crosse has so much to offer. And with an area filled with historic businesses, a thriving art scene, and numerous outdoor activities, it can be hard to find your place. That's why Ammon created La Crosse Links. 
it, it allows folks to get to know their different options of getting involved in the community, meeting other new folks to the area. We prioritize participants that are new to the area in the last five years. The program hosts five three-hour sessions over the course of five weeks. Each night is at a different venue, featuring a different local caterer, and every session focuses on a different theme. So really trying to give them a large collective amount of information so they can take it and run with it and find different ways to get involved. Ammon's program partners with La Crosse's Chamber of Commerce. Chamber leaders say La Crosse Links will be an economic development tool for the region. We want individuals to stay in this town. We want them to shop at our businesses. We want them to be involved in our community, you know, enhancing our nonprofits and just getting involved. And the program couldn't come at a better time. Franklin says numerous workforce studies have shown in the next decade there will be a worker shortage in the area. So it's so important for our regional employers to maintain their workforce, to keep those employees here, to keep developing them at their workplace, just to help them stay. We know that that really helps the business's bottom line. And while there will be economic advantages to the program, the heart of Lacrosse Links is creating a sense of belonging. We just want people to feel welcome in this community and feel connected. Now, the upcoming fall session is full, but they are taking registrations for the spring and fall 2025 sessions. And another perk of the program, it's free for participants. Ken and Emily. All right, Allison, thanks very much. And we'll have information on how to register on our digital platforms. The West Salem School District will hold a community listening session to help residents understand what is on their upcoming referendum. Voters will be asked to approve two questions on November 5th totaling $31.5 million for operational expenses and capital improvements across the district. Today's session will be held from 6 to 7 p.m. in the Hyder meeting room at the school district's office. Now, if you cannot attend today's meeting, there is also one tomorrow from noon to 1 p.m. A clothing closet is helping Viterbo University students dress for success. Threads to Thrive is a new campus resource for students needing professional attire for interviews, presentations, and career events. The clothing is free and available to all students. They're welcome to two, one three, complete outfit two, per visit. One. The Corporate and Community Relations yeah. Liaison says a student looking and feeling their best can make all the difference in their performance. Really important to have all the resources available that students need to succeed, uh, whether that's resume building, whether that's getting connected to that next interview or job, or a resource as simple as just what you're going to wear, because sometimes it really comes down to confidence and empowering students. Look good, feel good. Threads to Thrive is open Wednesdays for students are welcome to schedule an appointment as well. If you'd like to donate, Threads to Thrive is asking for gently used professional clothing. You can drop those off in the Dahl School of Business office in Brophy Center on campus. Addressing voter concerns. Presidential candidates back on the campaign trail now highlighting their proposals on the economy. Knutson Roofing, locally owned with 20 years of experience to get your project done right the first time. Whether it's roofing, window, or siding installation, we offer reliable, dependable, and quality work we stand behind. Knutson Roofing, call or visit us online today. There are trucks, and then there's the GMC Sierra. Available with the connected driving experience. And the world's first six-function multi-pro tailgate. GMC Sierra. It's the truck. Get 0% APR on 2024 Sierra 1500 Denali models. That's over 6,400 in average finance savings. Visit your best choice GMC dealer today. While families struggle to pay bills, Harris and the Democrats are wasting our tax dollars on their extreme liberal agenda. Giving government checks to illegal immigrants. Funding a Madison clinic where minors get transgender therapy without parents' consent. Pushing high schools to allow boys to compete in girls' sports. Senator Baldwin fights for this madness. Tammy Baldwin, radical, 
extreme and wrong. I'm Eric Hovde, and I approve this message. Cooley Carpet has always been more than just carpet, and now the name will reflect that. Cooley Floors and Design. Along with the brand new name, there's a fresh new look to the showroom. Don't worry, Cooley Floors and Design still has the same great team at the same convenient location. Ready to elevate your space? The design consultants will take the time to discuss your dreams, needs, and your budget. Cooley Floors and Design will accompany you through every step from expert advice to professional installation. Visit Cooley Floors and Design on Mormon Cooley Road for a fresh new look. Knutson Roofing, locally owned with 20 years of experience to get your project done right the first time. Whether it's roofing, window, or siding installation, we offer reliable, dependable, and quality work we stand behind. Knutson Roofing, call or visit us online today. The two presidential candidates went to a couple of key battleground states to talk about a critical issue on the minds of voters, the economy. Skylar Henry has more details from Washington, D.C. Vice President Kamala Harris arrived at the Pittsburgh Economic Club to lay out her vision for the American economy. I have pledged that building a strong middle class will be a defining goal of my presidency. Harris says her plan involves three key pillars, lowering costs for American families, investing in innovations and entrepreneurs, and ensuring America leads in future industries, including artificial intelligence. The next generation of breakthroughs from advanced batteries to geothermal to advanced nuclear are not just invented, but built here in America by American workers. If she has a plan, she should stop grandstanding and do it. Just do it. Campaigning near Charlotte, North Carolina, Trump tried to tie Harris to President Biden's economic record. Kamala Harris is a one-woman economic wrecking ball. And this November, the people of North Carolina are going to tell her we've had enough. We can't take it anymore. Kamala Harris, you're fired. Get out. You're fired. You did a lousy job as vice president. Not on hand for Trump's visit, Mark Robinson, North Carolina's embattled Republican gubernatorial candidate who's alleged to have posted racist comments on a porn site. So far, Trump has not pulled his endorsement. Robinson tweeted Wednesday he's reaching out to the Republicans who have stopped supporting him, saying, Now is not the time for intra-party squabbling and nonsense. We have 41 days to make our case. We can't do it without all hands on deck. Absentee voting began in North Carolina on Tuesday. Skyler Henry, CBS News, Washington. We're now less than a week away from the next big campaign event, the only vice presidential debate. Ohio Senator J.D. Vance, the Republican, taking on Minnesota Governor Tim Walz, the Democratic candidate. The debate will air on CBS News and is moderated by Evening News anchor Nora O'Donnell and Margaret Brennan, the host of Face the Nation. Helene on the horizon. The storm now being classified as a Category 1 hurricane is hurling its way towards Florida. Meanwhile, we're going to see more summer-like conditions, minus the morning fog. Our temperatures are going to be in the 80s for quite a stretch. I'll show you when that may end, if there's any precipitation in the forecast. That coming up on your first one weather update after the break. This Thursday, one day only, earn a 20-cent high vee fuel saver for every $30. That's a 20-cent fuel saver for every $30 you spend in-store and online. Thursday only and only at high vee Small businesses are the backbone of our community. These places employ us, sponsor the Little League team, and feed and clothe us. That's why I'm proud of the work I've done to support our business community. I know that the side of the aisle you're on matters less than being on the side of our main streets. No party has a monopoly on good ideas. I'm Steve Doyle, and I'm working for our businesses, working for our communities, and I'm working for you. Are your toilets in need of an upgrade? Not only can older toilets be uncomfortable, they can also clog more and increase your utility bills. At Maxwell White, we offer professionally trusted Kohler toilets. Our popular best-selling toilet is the Kohler Highline, available in various heights to provide ultimate accessibility and ease of use. Don't wait. Start enjoying the exceptional power, innovation, and water-saving sustainability of a new Kohler toilet. Trust the toilet experts at Maxwell White. Plumbing done right. Call today. There are over 21,000 Wisconsin veterans struggling to pay for rent and utilities. Thank you for your service. Many are also facing issues with their mental health. Thank you for your service. We must do more 
to help these heroes who have already sacrificed so much. Thank you for your service. Thank you for your service. Thank you for your service. Words simply aren't enough. I'm sorry. Make a difference by donating to this critical Wisconsin survival safety net today. The liberal elite in Washington are running one of their own here in Wisconsin. A political insider who worked to elect liberals in California even supported a dark money group focused on defunding the police. Her name, Rebecca Cook, political operative bankrolled by the liberal elite. They handpicked her to help win back the House, trusted to elect liberal heroes like Mandela Barnes. They trust her because Rebecca Cook is one of them. I'm Derek Van Orden, and I approve this message. This Thursday, one day only, earn a 20-cent high vee fuel saver for every $30. That's a 20-cent fuel saver for every $30 you spend in store and online. Thursday only, and only at high vee It's an Oktoberfest tradition, the Maple Leaf Parade, Saturday at 10 a.m. on Channel 8.2 or streaming on News 8+. Expect more from News 8 Now. Thanks for watching. Well, Helene is officially a Category 1 hurricane. Yeah, it's on a path to southeastern U.S. with an expected landfall in Florida tomorrow. The storm is now swirling past Mexico, and its powerful outermost bands are already hitting parts of Florida. In the hours ahead, those conditions will intensify and batter the coastline before an expected landfall Thursday night. Forecasters are gauging Helene's storm surge to hit between 5 and 15 feet in many areas. Well, over here in our area, we're it's pretty calm, pretty yeah. cool as a cucumber. Yeah, we're getting much. a nice mix of summer and fall, mm -hmm. 80s and sunny, and it's looking like a good Oktoberfest weekend, Greg. Yeah, fortunately, the track of the system, when it kind of falls apart as it goes up to Indiana, stayed further south than what we thought maybe about a week ago. So we're not going to see hardly any clouds now, in fact, too, and precipitation. These are where we average temperatures should be. Most of us are getting pretty much for average this time of year into the 60s, maybe 70s. as We head into the first couple days of October. Lows are pretty much close to where we should be, kind of those cool nights. But we're going to be about 15 degrees in some areas above average throughout next Monday. Now, we'll deal with the low clouds and fog along the rivers and bodies of water through Thursday and Friday morning. Could even see it Saturday morning too. Otherwise, summer like through Monday, we're talking temperatures that more like we should see at the end of August, maybe around Labor Day at the latest. That'll continue through Monday. Dry throughout Monday all the way through next week. In fact, there's a chance we may not see rain chances really until about the 8th or 9th of October if the pattern holds of what it looks like. So overall, this is a huge ridge all to our west. You can kind of see it pretty much going all the way to the north. That is why it's going to be dry and quite pleasant for a long stretch of the time. Here's this low that's diving south. That's going to play a factor and bring in this hurricane up, and they're kind of actually going to dance around each other, you can kind of say, as it begins to pull north. Here's your Hurricane Cat 101. It'll hit the Big Bend here tomorrow, Category 3, maybe 4, and then lift slowly north. The speed of it's fairly quick, and that's why the storm surge is such the bigger factor than actually the rainfall until it gets inland. We've dealt with fog the last couple of mornings all the way through Monday. We're going to do it once again. Pretty much that 6 to about 8.30 time frame is when the visibility starts to fall along the rivers and bodies of lake and rivers. So we'll see that once again doesn't quite indicate all that widespread, but still, if you encounter it, you will definitely slow down. It could get down to about a half mile, at worst, maybe a quarter for a few hours. Then it'll come back up. There's your temperatures tomorrow. More 80s. We'll definitely hit the 80s in a few spots, even 82s maybe potentially there too. Torchlight uh, Prep Parade, there's no problems. Very mild conditions, only dropping into the mid 60s, so actually very wonderful, more summer like conditions, really. Temperatures Friday, just a degree or two warmer, really. We're going to start off with some morning fog potential. Otherwise, back into the 80s. Once again, very few clouds out there. We thought we'd see more clouds from this tropical system, but as you look here, it's staying well to the south, what's wrapped up by Friday and Saturday. So we're hardly going to see just a few high clouds potentially, and that's about it. As you go further north, just clear skies all the way through Friday, Saturday. Now, the one point this kind of picks up is we could see another round of some fog even Friday, Saturday morning, given that we don't have this high clouds out there that we thought we would have. So we might have to deal with that for Saturday morning for October with some fog issues near rivers in those areas. But otherwise, your eight-day forecast, a lot of 80s. And then we have a cold front coming through. And although mid-60s seems kind of cold when you compare it to the 80s, that's not far from where we should be for this time of year. And then we kind of bounce back up to the upper 60s by next Wednesday, Thursday, which is kind of about average, too. So dry, mild, summer-like, 
not much else to explain, yeah. but uh, you can't beat the forecast for Oktoberfest. Yeah. Not quite as warm as last year, mm -hmm. um, but this year it's going to be very nice. All right. Looks Love like to it. see it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Greg. A vision becoming reality. How an unlikely architect drew up the plans of a new playground in her neighborhood. When we come back. Is it time for new windows or doors? Contact the company who has done the research for you. The best windows and doors installed by the best people. Clear Choice Window and Home Solutions. Dear unbreakable spirit, you roam on paths called impossible. Own a legend, Toyota Trucks. Lease a tough new 2024 Tacoma for $319 a month. Toyota. Let's go places. My husband and I are going through IVF treatments now. It could be our only chance to have a family. But Donald Trump's plan could ban IVF in some states. My husband is in the military. He volunteered to serve. We are patriots and we go where he is assigned. What if we end up in a state where IVF is no longer legal? What will we do then? I'm Kamala Harris and I approve this message. My feet hurt so bad in the morning, I couldn't even put my feet on the floor. So I had to start engineering my own arch support. So I got that, then I put this in there, and this one. Finally, before I added another one of these in, I went to Good Feet, and they gave me this. So I built all this together to engineer a solution to my pain. And if I'd have just gone to Good Feet, I'd have been better off in the first place. Good Feet Arch Supports, engineered for pain relief, personally fitted for you. As the mom of a daughter, I'm livid that boys are now being allowed to compete in girls' sports. It's just wrong, and I blame Tammy Baldwin. She voted to let biological men into women's sports. Worse, Baldwin co-sponsored legislation to force girls to share locker rooms with biological men. Tammy Baldwin is failing to keep our families safe. Tammy Baldwin's extreme values are wrong for Wisconsin. Fix Washington Pack is responsible for the content of this advertising. Dear unbreakable spirit, you roam on paths called impossible. Own a legend, Toyota Trucks. Lease a rugged new 2024 Tacoma for $4.79 a month. Toyota, let's go places. You expect more, so thank you for watching News 8 Now. They say art imitates life. Well, it's actually the other way around for this Utah tween whose crayon creation became a reality. It started when then 11 year old Rosalie Olson saw plans for a new playground near her home and was none too impressed taking concerns about accessibility for small children to City Hall. So she came with crayon plans in hand and officials were so impressed they worked with her using her hand drawn designs to create a completely different place playground, one that is more accessible for kids of all ages. What an impact she made. Who'd right? have thunk? Absolutely. I wonder how long it took uh, to make it a reality. Though. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Can you imagine like one of us drawing? It'd be <laughs> abstract and explaining. It'd be very abstract. This squiggle over here is clearly the <laughs> monkey bars. Here's a stick figure uh, enjoying That's this creation. That's about all I can do. <laughs> I can draw a nice cube but not uh, not a playground. Yeah, so or, or props, color it in. Yeah, good props for Props to her. the tween in Utah, for sure. Making a big difference <laughs> in our community. Okay, Greg, we'll have one final look at your forecast when we come back. Ashley knows that some of our most important traditions and memories start around the dining table. From cozy breakfast nooks to formal dining areas, we have versatile options that fit any space. With styles ranging from mid-century modern to farmhouse or traditional, starting at just $4.99.99, only at Ashley. Tammy Baldwin on transparency. I don't think there should be two sets of rules, one for the wealthy and one for the rest of us. 12 years later, Baldwin pushed for conflict of interest regulations, but exempted herself. And Baldwin won't disclose any shared assets she has with her partner, despite the potential for conflict of interest. Tell Tammy Baldwin, we deserve the truth. Wisconsin Principles is responsible for the content of this advertising. Hi, I'm Danielle, general manager here at the board store. In 1989, when I first saw my dad on the TV talking about high quality and low prices, I wasn't quite sure how I felt. But now, 35 years later, with this exceptional showroom, high quality products, knowledgeable staff, and the best installation crews in the area, I couldn't be more proud. And we look forward to continuing to serve all your home improvement needs for many more years to come. Come see us at the board store. 
This ad is a complete lie. The truth is Tammy Baldwin's never shared inside information with her partner. And Tammy Baldwin's leading the fight to ban senators from purchasing any individual stocks. It's Eric Hovde who owns a $3 billion California bank. And Hovde's bank takes millions from unknown foreign interests, meaning we'd have no idea who Eric Hovde would really be working for. Eric Hovde, what's wrong with this guy? I'm Tammy Baldwin, and I approve this message. Lane's Farm and Fleet's Fall Tool Sale is going on now. Shop our unbeatable selection and prices on great brands to help you tackle fall projects. Like $100 off these DeWalt tool batteries, now just $39. This Milwaukee brushless grinder with paddle switch, only $119. All GE light bulbs are on sale, 20% off. And maintain vehicles and equipment with 14-ounce tubes of Blaine's brand multi-purpose grease, just $189 for rewards members. Find value at Blaine's Farm and Fleet. It seems like everyone in Washington is either too far left or too far right. I'm Rebecca Cook, and like most folks in Wisconsin, I'm somewhere in the middle. I'll stand up to Democrats to fight for a secure border and stop wasteful spending. I'll stand up to extremists like Derek Van Orden, who wants to ban all abortions with no exceptions. Like you, I'm fed up and ready for change. I approve this message because it's time that we sent one of us to Congress. Looking for a better night's sleep? Ashley Sleep offers mattresses for every level of comfort. From soft, cloud-like comfort to firm next-level support, we have affordable mattress options for everybody. Find your perfect match today, only at Ashley. Shop more deals in-store and online. All right, tonight, uh, pretty pleasant conditions. Uh, some areas will be in the 40s, others low 50s. It's still a little bit above average. And then if you're living near bodies of water, we could see then morning fog. But then a lot of 80s in the forecast, and that's really the story throughout the weekend. Yay! I don't know how you're going to have eight hours of work over the next week. Oh, we got plenty to look at. so bored. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just sitting in the back watching yeah. some movies. <laughs> Thanks for joining us at 5. We'll see you at 6.